G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Standard Economy with your host Josh. I hope you guys have a great day so far. And it turns out I've absolutely cursed everything in the market. As you know, I was taking a quick squiz at all, well, at the Mario store earlier today. And I'm just like, why do I even talk? Okay, just why do I even talk about, you know, hey, this is looking pretty good. Because just as I said that, oh man, this week's been an absolute disaster. But anyways, let's get started on the uh, buses first of all. So let's get the buses first of all. Also want to uh note to you guys as well there is new uh mystic as well so if you guys you know want to do that mystic is there as well um better not do that as an accident but also there are you know potentially buses going around as well but i don't think there is at the moment but anyway let's get to the buses so argos here we've got 1.2k you know for argos bosses at the moment things are just hold steady currently we can go to the abyss dungeons i gotta say right now i wouldn't be expecting too much of these yeah, a lot of no bids. 900G is probably a gold seller as well. You'll be very, very careful on that. Now we're going to check the Legion raids. Voltan looking at 2kg, 1.8kg for normal, 2kg for hard. Go say they're slightly gone up a bit. Slightly gone up a bit. Another 1.7kg here as well. So I gotta say, you know, if you want to get into that sort of market, it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty getting even with the amount of gold you get from Voltan. Now with Vicus, 3.5k. 3k, 4k, I think, for hard mode still. I think basically they're holding steady as well. Now, Midnight Circus, any carries yet, but I don't think there's any carries at all. So, as I, as I said before, like, I don't expect any carries to be with uh, Clown for a very, very long time. Just an FYI, by the way. Don't expect that many carries for a long time. And also, as you can see, with Mystic as well. Mystic didn't have any uh, carries as well, so I assume the content is easy enough for people to just basically push through. Now, next up, we're going to go check the Mari store, and this is where the curse really, really sets in, because, well, I don't know, man. I'm sorry, guys, okay? I'm really, really sorry. I, I know I said last time, like, hey, you know, they haven't gone up. This is looking pretty good. And basically, Blue Crystals have gone up by 400 chi on US West, which I gotta say right now is kind of inevitable, really, with everyone starting to generate a lot more gold, and then people started seeing that the Blue Crystal price is at 3k, and now I'm going to say I'm really, really worried about the game. I mean, I was talking to a guy in comments the other day as well, saying that, you know, the higher the Blue Crystal price gets, the worse it actually gets for the game, because he was saying that, you know, trying to get Leap Stones, trying to get Honing Mats, trying to get other stuff as well, like the Crystalline Aura, and other aspects like that, as a newer player, you're going to have to swipe before you even play the game. And he was concerned about it, and I'm like, I'm concerned about it too, because, you know, you're trying to get new players into the game, you know, make a new play I made a new player's compendium, if you guys see in the playlist as well. And it's just like, well, how are you going to get new players into the game if Blue Crystals, you know, basically Chris Inora makes the game a lot easier for them, is basically so out of reach for them that they're going to take basically probably about maybe five or six months to even get to the stage where they can afford Chris Inora effectively. I'm just going to say the biggest game's downfall here as well is the fact that it can only keep the players that it has in from day one. And those day one players, depending on the sunk cost fallacy from preventing them from quitting in the first place. And that's kind of a scary prospect because people who are, you know, operating that sunk cost fallacy where they're going, oh, I put too much time in this game, I can't quit now. They either burn out or just quit themselves because it's basically, it can be basically a hamster wheel. So that, those are the sort of things that may need to change if they want to get more newer players in. You know, WoW try to do that with, of course, you know, even though WoW is a subscription based game, so that shouldn't really matter too much. But they did try, you know, a few things like, you know, letting play people play for free, um, catch up gear with badges and stuff like that as well. But it's really up to Lost Ark on this one as well. So anyways, let's, let's just go on. Now let's go, go to the AH and I guess they probably give you the last few times that I could use my pet for the AH. But here we go. We're going to go with the honing mats. So we're going to go straight to Leafstones. How are Leafstones going today? Leafstones, I'm going to say, great on Leafstones have gone up slightly to 70G. On Leafstones have tied back to 40G. So those are the new things here as well. Uh, life leaf stones and hiding leaf stones have held steady. Now let's take a look at the stones. Actually, that's a... Oh, no, in the end we got it right. So basically, destruction stones have gone down from 13G to 7G. And I've got to say, this is probably from the event and probably a lot of that's been given away from the login events as well. And it's probably getting to the point as well that not many people are using it to hone because they're, they're already at Breshaza or getting close again to Breshaza. So it's going to be a lot cheaper. But the interesting thing is that the great honor leaf stones have gone up. So... If that was the case, then why would they go up? Maybe for alt, potentially? Not terribly too sure. The Fusion Materials are holding steady at 10G. Um, generally, 10G is their flat price anyway. It's a mid-tier price. So it's neither good for buying, neither good for selling either. If they hit 9G, it is good for buying. 
So that's the main thing you should probably watch out for as well. And now let's get to the solars. So the solar graces, 79G, solar blessings, 175, solar protection, 301. They've gone up slightly. I guess they're pretty different. Maybe in the afternoon, maybe in the morning. It basically really, really depends. Just an FYI, guys, if you guys have noticed I'm doing this a bit earlier today. Basically, got some time off. Uh, basically, I think I was streaming earlier today on Twitch TV slash only Josh and TV. And I was meant to go out. But in the end, they cancelled for two hours. So I was like, ah, might as well do some content, you know? Might as well keep you guys happy. But overall, you know, only, this, only the greater on Leap Stones and the Solar Blessing Protection and Graces have gone up. And I guess it's mainly people trying to force... Uh, into pity honing at this stage, I assume, but I'm not totally too sure because it's weird that leap stones and all the other, you know, basically soul, uh, not soul support, honing support items are going up and then destruction stones and guiding stones are going down. It just seems very, very odd, but I guess we'll figure the mystery out one day, but I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be the fact that not many people are honing with the stones anymore and it's gonna be the leap stones and fusion mats. They're gonna be quite expensive as well as the, uh, the support mats to try and get there you know, things to 1475 or 1490 or 1505 all together. Now, next up, we're going to hit the uh, consumables. So consumables, here we go. So consumables at the moment, as, I, as I've said before, once clown gets a lot easier, these prices will dive. And given the recent inflation, these prices should be going up. They have dived slightly as well. And these have gone slightly down as well. Generally due to the fact that basically everything is taking a dive because clown, the people are one-shotting clown, especially one-shot clown, they can go do something else. And that's pretty much it. The bombs have gone down slightly as well. They were around 60G before, but now they're still 50G a pop. Grenades, we'll check those out as well. And I'm going to say grenades have gone down slightly as well. With dark grenades still running at 50, and I'm going to say flame grenade at 55. Which is a bit out there given the fact that whirlwind dark grenades are still well more used than the flame grenade. I don't fight, I think flame grenade brings the most DPS. Just an FYI. So now we're going to check the steak, we're going to check the food out. And don't tell me tier 2 food is still more expensive than fucking tier 3 food. I, I still don't get this, okay? If anyone can explain to me why tier 2 food is still more than tier 3 food, please help me out here. Help me out. Because I have no idea. Now go check the time stops. So time stops are pretty important as well. So time stops are at 50, so I've gone down slightly as well. And last but not least, we can check Panacea. So a lot of the healing items, a lot of the one use items in the battle area have gone down. And the main reason why they've gone down is because people are using less of them because they're one-shotting stuff and moving on. And, or, people are, more, are producing them more from the Stronghold. I'm going to say, since I said last episode, but I don't, I, don't, I don't get like 10k views or anything like that. I'm not even that popular, to be honest. I'm going to say, honestly, it is probably mainly from the fact that probably people are clearing content quicker. Not that, you know, my suggestion that I said, hey, you, you, this is a good time to start making them because it's actually quite expensive. You know, it's not nothing like that. Next up, we're going to check engravings. So engravings, I did say green recipes are starting to get really, really expensive. But, uh, you know, as I just saw just then, a bit cheap on the legendary market. So the green ones you can see here, basically the green recipes are starting to follow the blue recipes, as you've noticed. And I've got to say, if you can buy some of the class green recipes and then roll them up and put them on the age, you could make a quick gold here or there. Because people, people are looking to buy it instead of grinding out those island reputations. Same with the blues as well. Like you can, oh, actually even some blue combats are going pretty high as well. So if you want to grind those out for extra gold, you can go do so basically as well. Now with the epic, the epic won't be too expensive at this stage. I think everyone's getting thrown epic ones. I mean, I just saw a supercharge here for 1G. And some of these are quite good. And I can only assume, given that grudge is 87G, that a flood of purple books have gone on the market. But not, but, but last but not least, we're going to check the lovely fellas of the legendary, okay? And the legendary are going to say class class, and grudge are always going to be stupidly expensive, okay? Grudge going up to 16k. I'm going to say none of the engraving books being above 20k, okay? Could it be a Saturday evening kind of thing? Or is it just Saturday, morning, Saturday mornings when they put them up to like 21 to 22k? I'm not sure. You guys tell me, okay? You guys tell me. What do you guys feel in the comments below? But I feel like overall, like some of the blessed auras, some of like the top end, even remaining energy, it's suddenly getting below 10k, which means I think either a lot of people are quitting, or a lot of people have got the legendary books, which is the most likely one, or it's just there's a lot more in legendary engravings on AH. I'm going to lead to the second option. I think a lot of people have got their class books now. So basically, everyone who's getting their class books now is, you know, basically fighting for scraps or the people still remaining. That's, that's my take from this as well. Now, next up, we're going to go and check the pets and skins, and I accidentally went out of the market. Bugger me. So this is basically, as I said before, this is like it indicates how the gold selling is going at the moment. 
These have gone up again. As I said, it will keep going up regardless of what happens. I'm going to say here some of the summer, uh, summer sets, the beachside sets, remember from the summer in June, they're starting to go up in price. I mean, this is going to hit the 50k as well. I think it's due to the fact they have to wait till next year to even have a chance at those. And you can see here that this, this skin's prices have gone up slightly due to the fact of the rarity and due to the fact that the blue crystal prices have gone up. So naturally, skins will go up as well because they can basically sell them for more. Next up are the pets. The pets have hit tw over 20k and now some of them going for 30k as well. And of course, basically all the cat pets are going to get higher and higher as the thing goes on, given the fact that you can't get it anymore unless you've got a founder's pack. So as you can see here, they're at 80k. And they're going to go, these ones are going to go up due to rarity. These ones are going to go to up due to the fact that, um, I completely forgot, that the gold market's going up in the blue crystal price. So that's pretty much why it's going up. Now, next up, we're going to talk about the gem market. Like I said, I expect the gem market to inflate. Okay, if I'm going to be basically honest here as well. I expect it to inflate. The main reason why I expect it to inflate is because gold prices have gone up. And most people who are selling the level 7 gems, the people who generally have like all level 9s or all level 8s or all level 10s already. So expect that to inflate as well. And as we see here, going from low 20s to potentially mid 20s here as well. You've got some 24Ks, 29Ks. As kind of expected. Someone did leave a comment previously that it ebbs and flows the gem market. However, the gem market, I think, for the last three weeks have been pretty steady. So I think the ebbs and flows and the volatility in the gem market is pretty much gone. It will just basically ebb and flow, go between a market and slowly go up overall. Many because of the fact that more people got gold to spend and uh, many people need more gold to buy some of their stuff as well. Now we're going to go to accessories and ability stones. And, you know, I get, I get pretty bored discussing this over and over again because... It, it, I guess here right now, it's just all the same thing. You know, it's all the same way, basically, that occurs. Like, the uh, top-tier class mats are just going to be ridiculous to buy. Now, you can see here, Adrenaline. I'm going to say Adrenaline, Grudge, are always a rare one. Someone offering for 16k. So, I guess the Ability Stones, well, they've seen, even people have stopped farming them, which could be the case. But all people using as a, you know, gold, you know, thing. So, you can see here, like, Lightning Fury and MP Efficiency. This is not 5.5k. Maybe it could be like gold ceiling. This is what they're using for gold ceiling. They're using the worst ones and just trying to put them up there. But there's some that are legitimate as well. Like, you know, Grudge, you know, Adrenaline. All of these are worth this much. Now, this can be concerning for a lot of people who have not got the best in slot ability stone. I think at this stage, you, like, you know, you're better off trying to farm one than buying one at AH unless you've got the 8.8k left around plus the Fion cost as well. And the Fion cost is about, you know, 10k in itself. So... Yeah, it really, really depends. Sorry, not Fionn case, not 10k in itself. It's about basically, uh, sorry, 6k. Because I don't think 10 Fionns is that expensive, is it? Maybe it is. Maybe maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe it is uh, 300. But either way, like, you know, you're basically throwing about 15k gold at this. Or 18k gold at this. And be aware as well, like, if you hit an Adrenaline and they have a semi-decent secondary trait on Ability Stone, you could probably put it up there for a k and it probably will sell. To be completely honest. Now, with the accessories, you can see here, the perfect stats just going up so, so much. The, like I was say, at this stage, I'm going to say with next year, if you get a new gear set next year, I reckon you should probably buy early, okay? If any BAS goes in there early, probably buy early. Given the fact that as the market has gone on, like, you know, from Cackle Saturn releasing last month, People are selling so much, are putting so much stuff up at this ridiculous 350 Andrew K mark. And I, when I was playing it, like, you know, when I, before I quit, I never saw items at this mark ever, okay? Like, above 300K. It was rare to see something above, like, 300, 400K. Now it's just a norm. Now it's just the absolute norm. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for another episode of State of the Economy. I'm gonna say overall, I'm a bit, I'm a bit afraid, afraid of the game. Okay, mainly because of the fact that new players aren't coming to it. Sorry, guys, I had something in my mouth. I had to get it out. Disgusting, I know, but I'm just, yeah. Anyway, I'll wipe it off later. But either way, I gotta say right now is that I'm pretty worried because a, you know, one thing is for sure, looking at my metrics, that the videos for Lost Ark are getting less and less. So a lot of people could be quitting, or my videos could be bad. Either or. But, you know, I've been noticing, you know, a lot less players, a lot less people mentioning Lost Ark. I think I only know three streamers that are still streaming Lost Ark compared to, like, 10 to 15 previously. So, 
it's not looking too flash for it. And also with New World releasing, WoW releasing a new expansion and stuff like that as well, Lost Ark could be a bit of competition here as well. And I think Smilegate are pretty much aware of it as well. And also, you know, losing their CEO about a month ago, a month and a bit ago, and the amount of content they're releasing, they could be in a bit of trouble. Could be. But I'm hoping overall, like, you know, something is done in direction to really curb these prices as well. And it also doesn't help as well because NA's attitude, because we talk, I talked about this with another dude as well, NA's attitude with gatekeeping and sticking to the meta, you know, could cause a downfall for this game where, like, classes who aren't meta aren't being taken because they're not meta and then basically people quitting because they're not meta and they've you know, put so much things in their characters. But either way, you know, I see, you know, this game is very, very fun for a lot of people and it's really, really good for a lot of people as well. And so they're one of those really flat, freshed out Diablo clones that are actually really, really decent up there with Path of Exile, I'm going to say. You know, it was, it, is a, it was a fun experience. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And just hoping for all the best for it. Anyways, guys, hope you guys have a great day and see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe.